What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is something that I feel like has been a kind of long awaited. Um, it's a video that you guys know and love um, and if you haven't already seen by the title I'm assuming you have because you clicked on this video um, but today I'm filming my spring Aritzia haul. Um, I feel so excited for spring. I'm so excited to transition um, but that being said I felt like it was time for a little wardrobe refresh just because basically when I I moved from college it was like summertime so I kind of wore through all my summer clothes and then when fall and winter hit I did like a total complete like closet purge and so I basically got rid of all my spring and summer clothes except for like a few key pieces here and there so I feel like it's really time to rebuild so obviously I was thrilled when the Aritzia um, spring collection started coming out. I'm so excited to see what keeps coming, but for now, this is where I'm at. I feel like I have built myself a lot of good basics, and I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to mention is I'm just going to do it how I always do it. I'm going to kind of go from like coats to pants, just kind of go through like the thickness or like the level of warmth that the item is. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so for this first piece, this is the Skylar coat by the group. Um, I was a little bit hesitant before I bought this just because I was kind of like, what am I going to do with a really long raincoat slash trench coat? I don't know how functional that is, but since I bought it, I've already worn it a handful of times. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I'll have it linked below at Style and Fashion Blog. But if you guys do follow me, you'll know that I have already worn this coat. You guys will have seen how I've already styled it a few ways, but it is so great. It is so versatile, and I am so glad that I just like made myself pick it up. Um, it looks great with t-shirts. It also layers perfectly over hoodies and whatnot so this was definitely worth it definitely gonna be one of my key pieces for this coming right, so for this piece I have a feeling some of you are gonna be like Lynn what in the world are you doing you are wearing another tan coat why did you need that um, but basically I bought another tan trench coat and um, the way I justified this was this one is more like true of a trench coat, um, the material, so it's a little bit more functional, it's something I can wear inside, and I don't have anything like this other than that other like long raincoat one I just showed you. So I thought it was worth it. Um, I think this is a really, really beautiful piece. This is actually that, it's the Lawson jacket. I don't know who it's by, either Babaton or Wilfred, but um, it's that Meghan Markle jacket that everyone sees her wearing, and she actually has the green one, and originally I went in wanting the green one, but when I got there, I realized that this was a little bit better for spring. Um, I can always get a green jacket come fall, but for now, I really love this. I think it looks more true like to your classic trench coat, um, but it's really, really beautiful. It has just these really nice big flaps, a nice collar, and then the little um, button detail on the sleeve. So I'm very, very glad I picked this up. I think this is going to be really, really great for work. Um, as well as just like casual wear so I'm very excited to style it. So those were the only two coats I picked up so I'm just gonna go right into tops. This is the first one. This I oh I don't know the name of it but like always I will have everything linked below. Um, I absolutely love it as you can tell it's like the perfect spring top. I love the long sleeves but the material is just so light and has this beautiful great crepe design on it um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is great for work but I also think it looks so cute with just like a good pair of denim which I will mention later but um, I'm obsessed with the top I think it just screams spring for work obviously I wear it with a camisole underneath but it also looks great like this and I also think just having like maybe if you wanted to do a fun colored bralette and just have it pop through that would also be really really cute but I am obsessed with this and I am so excited to style it the next top I picked up is this really gorgeous little almost peplum style top. It's so cute with the little polka dots. You guys know I love polka dots. So when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. Um, I don't really have a lot of like short sleeve style blouses, so I thought this was really nice. The sleeves are really sheer. I probably won't wear this to work just because of the lower v-neck. I guess I could get away with it maybe if I put a tank top or something underneath. But I think this is going to really look great in spring and summer with like a really cute 
pair of um, denim shorts and just some little side sandals so I can't wait to wear this when it starts to get warmer um, but yeah that is all I have to say about it I think it's super cute love the polka dots and yeah. all right so this is the next shirt I picked up this is the Wilfred blouse I believe it's called it's the rain blouse um, and what really drew me to this shirt was one the color you guys will notice that I really do love white for spring and summer it just makes you look so tan and just feels so good um, but aside from the color I love the versatility of this top I think this would look amazing with just a really great sleek pair of business pants and some pumps and you would look just like a boss lady and it would be super super nice or you could wear it with just a pair of denim or um, I'm planning it on like the last top planning it on wearing it with some really good denim shorts and some cute little sandals um, but yeah I love how versatile this is the cut is really nice the sleeves are really nice it's not too sheer um, and I think this also like neckline will look really cute with like a little gold necklace or something. So I really can't, couldn't be any happier with this item, but I'm super, super excited. This next top just screams spring and summer to me from the print to the cut to the style, everything. Um, but it's this gorgeous little like kind of like prairie-esque print, but this is by the brand Little Moon. I believe it's called the Sedum or Sedum camisole, but it comes in so many other colors and other fabrics, but this was by far my favorite. I just love the shape. I love the colors. I think it's so cute, and I think this is going to look amazing in the warmer months so i just needed to get warm already so that i can wear this shirt okay so i also picked up this little white tank top i think the buttons are super super cute it's for sure a crop top as you can see but i think it's so cute i think the button detail is adorable but i think this is just like a really classic summer shirt um i don't know what else to say other than i'm very excited to wear it it kind of reminds me of like adult brandy melville but yeah what the hey i really like it it's super comfortable and i think this is just going to be a really good basic all throughout spring and summer i did pick up another crop top this one is even more cropped um, but i think it's so cute and with a really good pair of high-waisted shorts i think it's going to look amazing i also picked up a skirt which i'm going to show you a little bit later that i think this would be super cute with um, but this is what it looks like it has this really cute like little scallop detail on the the straps as well as the neckline and then it has a little bit more detail going down the front but I just think it's a really cute piece it also comes in a really pretty cream color so if you cream is definitely more your thing check that out but I really love this top I think it's super cute and will definitely help me stay cool in the warmer months. Okay, so I do want to mention that I also picked up two bodysuits. Um, I debated trying them on for you guys but you know Putting on a bodysuit is a lot of work. I'm sure all of you fellow viewers know the struggle of putting on a bodysuit. So I'm just going to show them to you instead. And I think you will definitely get to see the vision that I was going for. Also, you definitely will see these styled on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. But the first bodysuit I got is this little one from Wilfred. It is the Danette bodysuit. And I got it when everything was still on sale. So I got this for 20 bucks. I actually have the white version, which I wore a ton last summer. So I thought I might as well pick up the yellow color because you guys know how I feel about yellow. I absolutely love it. So I think this is really cute. One thing I like to mention that I really love about Aritzia bodysuits is that they're all like thong style so you never have to worry about having like a line show through your pants so thumbs up to Aritzia for that but this is the first one I got and then the second one is just a very simple plain this one is the Layla bodysuit by Wilfred Free and it's literally just a classic bodysuit um, with a little scoop neck I think this is going to be super cute I don't have anything like this and the material is also super thick so I'm hoping that I won't have to worry about this being see-through um, just because you always run that risk with a white bodysuit but I think this one will be good and I'm super excited to wear this next item is something that you are either going to hate or you will love but I love it and I'm the one who's wearing it um, <laughs> But it is this prairie style dress. It is, I believe it's called the Neva dress and it's by Wilfred. But this is like literally the definition of a, of a prairie dress. And if you know me, I am like obsessed with prairie style dresses. I think they're just 
so good you can layer sweaters over them you can just do so much with them and I wear them all the time because they're so comfy so I picked this one up because I think it also screams spring um, it has the really cute little Peter Pan collar and then the tortoise buttons and the really cute little ruffled sleeves and then it goes down to about mid calf so like this and then it also has pockets so what more could you want in a dress? I really love it and I just want it to be warm so that I can wear it. Um, I think it's still a little bit too cold in Seattle for me to get away with this, but fingers crossed that the day comes soon that I can whip this best. This is the out. other dress I picked up. Um, this is the Sunday Best Share dress and I'm obsessed. Um, it has little cherries on it. How freaking cute is that? And then it has this really gorgeous um, scoop neckline with a little ruffle and a little bow and then the same kind of scrunch sleeves as the last dress actually. But this one is rather shorter than the other one. Um, but it's super cute and I can't wait to wear it. You guys know I love yellow. I love the little cherry detail and I think this is just something fun that I don't have in my closet. So I think this is going to be really good and I can't wait to style it a lot of different ways. Okay, so I am now moving into bottoms, which, you know, signals that we are making it to the end of this video. But this is the first bottom I got. This is the, uh, let's see the Ryland skirt and it is by Babaton but I'm absolutely obsessed with it you guys know I'm a cat person so I'm super super thrilled that leopard and cheetah are very in right now but this is what it looks like it's just super cute super easy you guys know that I love my slip skirts so I am very excited to have a lighter version and to be able to wear this in the next few months the material is honestly just so good and I love the movement on it so I'm very very happy that I picked this little piece so as I mentioned before I am a huge fan of wearing white for the spring and summer as are most people um, but the next thing I picked up are these white Walsh pants. These are just like a wide leg pant. They are by the group. They also come in an olive green color, which I'm very tempted to get because I just love how these fit. The length is good. I could get them hemmed if I wanted to, but I actually wore them with a pair of tan mules the other day and the length worked out really well. So I honestly might leave them, but I love them. I think they're going to be great um, with almost like all the pieces that I showed you earlier. So I am very thrilled about these. Alright, so Aritzia has also come out with their own line of denim, which I'm sure most of you know. Um, but I thought it was finally time to try it out. I hadn't bought any before, but I'm so glad that I did because honestly, a lot of the styles are very similar to the Citizens of Humanity ones, except like literally half the price. So I thought it was time to finally try it out, and I absolutely love them. These are the Arlo Straits. Um, they've got a tiny little little bit of distressing but for the most part they're just like a nice medium wash denim um, they do come with the raw hem I just ended up hemming them more myself by just chopping it off um, just because I am on the shorter side so I really do love these jeans and I am very glad and I will continue to buy denim forum jeans because they have so many cute styles and they fit so great um, they also fit very true to size I am a true 27 and that is what I wear in these so just a little food for thought but if you are looking to try out some new denim definitely give the denim forum jeans a try. Okay, so I did pick up another pair of denim forum jeans. These are the Yoko Slim with the exposed buttons, which is actually something that I've been looking for for a while. So I was super stoked when I found these, and then even more stoked when they fit so well. Um, but I did like the other ones. I cropped them myself, but they do come cropped, so again, I didn't feel as guilty chopping them. Um, but I'm super excited about these. I'm very picky about my light wash denim just because I feel like it's really easy for light wash denim to not be flattering. Um, so when you do find some that is and just fits right in all the right places, I think it's super exciting and that is why I ended up getting these and I really love them and I think they're going to be cute with like everything else that I've showed you. Just I think it's all going to go together really well and even now just like with a white t-shirt. So I love these and... I'm so excited about denim form. All right, the last thing I'm showing you guys today are these Levi's wedgie jeans, except instead of them being straight leg like they usually are, they are wide leg. And yes, you can see they are quite long on me, so I'm going to have to crop these. 
but you guys know I love my Leave Guys wedgie jeans and the fit is just so good. Um, they're obviously a little tight now, but the Levi's always stretch out and I am confident that these will stretch to my desire, but I really love them. I love the wash and I think the little tie is so cute. So I love them. I'm really glad that I found these and that is all that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I finally hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you to all of you for watching these videos, um, giving it a like, subscribing. I appreciate it more than you know. Um, but stay tuned because in my next video, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for all of you just to let you guys know how thankful I really am for all of you. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.